A lot goes into building a house, but if you plan it out right, you can save energy and money for the life of the home. That's why today we're going to show you how this empty lot is going to transform from an open field into a very special powerhouse. Today on Powerhouse, we'll show you how a new framing technology will make this house comfortable year-round. We'll also be installing radiant floor heating to keep the home warm. Plus, we'll show you how you can create the perfect home to live in as you grow older. And many more ways we can create your own powerhouse. Today we're building a house from the ground up. We'll show you a lot of energy saving investments you can build in from the start. Meet Tim Ruth. Tim is a seasoned home builder who's been building homes for years. He's a certified expert on aging in place and knows how to get the most bang for your buck with energy saving techniques and equipment. Hi Tim, we're out here on an empty lot that I know soon you're gonna break ground on and I know this project is near and dear to your heart. Yes, Pete, this project will provide a living situation for special needs adults, of which I have a special needs daughter. Reach for Your Potential will be the end owner of the home, and it will be just a great thing. It'll be a group home for five uh, special needs adults. How personal yeah. that is. Now, you have quite a team working with you. Can you tell us about the team and also how long it'll take to complete the project? Yes, the, the team will be made up of high school and college students from the area, around the area and each of them will receive college credit for working on the home. They'll get two, two credit hours of internship credit. And it will be, the program is taught and led by a teacher from Durant High School. Okay, and how long will it take? Uh, around 90 days, between 90 and 100 days is our goal. Well, what a great experience for, for, those, for those students uh, to be involved with. And again, I know uh, the, whole, the whole project here really centered around energy efficiency from when you break ground right through when uh, the, the folks move into it, right? Well, exactly. And part of the project also will include aging in place. So we, everything we do, we think about how can we navigate that with a wheelchair? How can we get in the front door? And the other side of that is making it super energy efficient, which reduces their living expenses. Now that whole idea of aging in place is just what it sounds like. It's building a home so that with the intention of staying there Forever, it's right. your forever home. Right. Is, and that's something um, the National Association of Home Builders offers a certified aging in place class that I and several of us in the area have taken. And what we learn is the different ways to address the issues, whether it's existing or new. But here it's all new, so it's very easy to do. It's easy to make the doors wider. All the doors in this home will be at least three foot six. The front entry door will be three foot six inch wide. And it does lead to a little problem because there's not a lot of, you don't have a lot of selections of front doors. You can't go out and get that nice wood front door because it's not available. And here with the powerhouse, we're always interested in energy efficiency. And I know that's front and center from when you break ground right until the, uh, the folks move into the home. We'll start at the ground. There'll be foam under the floor. The floor will have radiant heat. The uh, walls will be foamed. We'll be utilizing these nice new structural studs that we're, we'll be looking at in a little bit. Um, the attic will have uh, foam insulation on the bottom side of the roof deck, so the entire space inside the home will be conditioned, and the air conditioning runs in the attic. And so the home will also have a heat pump so that when it's starting to get cool in the fall but not cold enough yet for the boiler to run, we can control the space a little better. Well, let's talk a little bit about, you mentioned the trusses back yes. here, right? Tim, tell us a little about this, because this is a new system, right? Yes, it is. This is new technology, just recently put on the market, and it's called a T-stud. You have a two by three on each side of the wall, and then a dowel connecting it, which will reduce the amount of thermal transfer from the outside to the inside. It'll be foamed like this is, and it'll be extremely quiet and super energy efficient. Now these dowels that are put in place like this, is this for feeding wires? You'll be able to stretch your wires through it without drilling, you'll be able to run plumbing pipes, everything will be able to be done and then foamed in place later. It'll make the wall a lot more energy efficient without adding a huge amount of cost. The added cost for a typical 1,700 square foot home might be less than a couple thousand dollars. Wow, so this is almost like a, a building block system where these units come prefabbed, if you will, and then you can run your wires through all of this before you 
foam everything. Very true. The wall sections will come on a truck. We'll unload them, sort them out, set them, and fasten them together. And then the trades will start working inside. Whether it's a plumbing vent can be run through here without drilling. The electrical wires can be run. The boxes will be set. We'll make it a lot simpler for everybody. This is really cool technology. Now, once the home's completed, what are the benefits for the homeowners? Well, one of the largest benefits will be the energy bills will be greatly reduced. These folks are all very low income, so it will create a super energy efficient house. There won't be cold spots, very quiet, very structurally sound, and give them many, many years of comfort and enjoyment. It's gonna be a great project for us to follow along. Let's get started. I'm ready. This unique home building project began, as many do, with a strong foundation. We learned how the product and the process benefit all involved. It's only been a few weeks since crews broke ground for the student-built house, and now students are getting ready to install hundreds of feet of plastic tubing. This tubing will deliver the heat to keep the house warm. Today, we are laying the plastic, which will be a vapor barrier under the concrete slab. Then we will be laying a two inch sheet of foam, which will create the insulation under the floor. And then on top of that, we will lay the, the tubing, plastic tubing, that'll create the in-floor heat. It'll be on 12 inch centers running everywhere. And then we'll lay rebar on top of that on two foot centers to hold, does two things, reinforces the slab and holds the, the tubing to the bottom of the slab so it doesn't float up. We don't want it to float up and when we saw cut the slab, we don't want to have to worry about that. Radiant floor heat heats the concrete slab up and it'll reduce the energy usage on this house fairly dramatically because the heat is down where you need it from your knees down. And so in a home like this, because it's a poured concrete slab, we can put that radiant heat in and the floor is always warm. You know, if you'd have a power outage, it'd be a long time before the house would cool off because that heat's in that concrete slab. Plastic is to keep the moisture below so that you're not getting moisture wicking off of the floor. We have six inches of clean rock on top as well, right below the plastic, and that helps keep the moisture away from the slab as well. Another important layer in this project is the build team. Tim Rouse reflects on how the partnership with the student team came together. Two years ago, Joe Greathouse and Tim Ruth got together and, and invited me in to uh, come up with some ideas to do some things for the ACE program and through Kirkwood and through our local high schools. And what it amounted to was a lot of our high schools don't have a, a, a house building program. So what we did is we came up with the idea of going through the Iowa Home Builders Association and Kirkwood and uh, building a house with students. Last year we had 13 kids from six different uh, schools. Uh, this year we got 22 kids from I think five different schools, and including Kirkwood. This way the kids get to not only see the carpentry aspect of it, but they get to see the plumbing aspect of it, the, heat, the heating electrical, uh, the masonry end of it, um, a lot of different aspects. Uh, we had a couple of kids last year who worked on the, the house that loved the carpentry part, but a couple of them really enjoyed more of the electrical stuff, so now they're actually le leaning towards the electrical. So it gives the kids a, a chance to at least get a taste of everything. Um, what's really great is we've got a lot of contractors on, on site that if the kids are really wanting to know more about some of this kind of stuff, then they can do you know, all the different things. The opportunity to work with the Radiant Floor Heating System is a unique and valuable experience. Students know they're investing their time and effort to do the job right as they complete each task and move to the next. It's more expensive, but when you're doing the type of floor we're doing with a concrete slab, it's just the right thing to do we should be done by noon. But I would assume it'll be the end of the day. The wind is gonna hamper us a little bit because it blows stuff around. We should be all ready, and if we don't get rain tonight, which we're not supposed to, um, then we'll be able to pour this slab tomorrow. Coming up, we'll learn even more about cutting edge construction techniques used in this home and how the benefits go beyond energy efficiency. Significant progress has been made on this home. When we paid our third visit to this ambitious project, we moved on to framing and roofing. 
Tim, we're back here at the house and what progress the students and you have made when we were here the last time. The foundation wasn't down, the walls and part of the roof, things are coming together. Things are really coming together now. It, it's amazing how fast the house goes up and goes together. You really start to notice big changes when you start looking at, you know, once the walls and the trusses and stuff go up. But we've done a, a lot of really cool things in the, in the project this year. Um, we're, we're trying to go as green as we possibly can and do as much as we can to save energy. Um, the floor we actually have set up and it's uh, got a, a one foot grid of plastic tubing and all of the liquids that run down through the floor is actually what provides the heat uh, for the whole entire house. It will have a, like a backup boiler and, a, and an air conditioning unit that will help to cool it and do some other things if we have some severe, but for the most part, everything is all taken care of through that in-floor heat. It all radiates up out of the floor. That's amazing, Tim. Again, all the plastic tubing that went in yep. here, and it was really laid strategically, correct? Yes, and they have to have the runs set up in a certain way so that only a, a certain distance of, of plastic pipe goes. So, for example, if they all have a run of 100 feet, then they'll have to go back to the main unit and then start out with another 100-foot unit and then back and forth. So it keeps it a constant temperature for everything. That helps to regulate a nice, even temperature. Tim, we like that. And let's talk about the walls and the insulated walls that are, you're going to be using. Okay. The wall system we're using is called a T-wall. And it's a, it's a little bit different than your regular 16 inch on center uh, stud spacing. Um, what, what they found out is if you use a, a stud that goes all the way across, the air and the coolness can transfer from the outside of the house through that stud and into the house. So what they've done with this one is they've turned the studs sideways and then they put a, a strip of styrofoam insulation in between them and then it, it doesn't let the heat transfer back and forth. They're also uh, 24 on center so that saves a little bit of material. Um, and then they, once we get all the walls and stuff up, they'll be able to run all the, the wiring, the plumbing and everything through that styrofoam area, which keeps it again nice and, and uh, even with that coolness as it comes through or uh, away from the walls. And then we'll actually then, uh, like say, foam it all afterwards with a spray-in foam. And what really works great about the spray-in foam is you, you don't lose the air the air pressure that comes from in and out, inside and outside of the house. When air comes through the outside, that's where that air transfers through. And with just your typical fiberglass insulation, it, there's air pockets and it allows that air to go through. With a blown insulation, it actually closes up every single crack and, and place where air can flow. And again, you're going to be going in and blowing in that insulated wall. And you were also telling me about the, the, the roof yes, as well. Yes, they're actually going to use what they call a, like a warm roof. And what they'll do is they'll spray that same foam that we use in the walls. They'll spray an 18 inch, 12 to 18 inches of, of foam up on the ceiling. And then basically that leaves your attic completely cool. There's no need for vents or, or ridge vents or, or eave vents or anything like that because the inside environment up there will be nice and cool to, again, save that electricity in the summertime and, and keep that, that heat away from the inside of the house. Energy efficiency, yep. with, which we like. You'll, you're making it so tight it'll be quieter. Right? right, yeah. So once the house gets built and the windows and stuff are all installed, and once, once you actually get in here, the living space, you can't hear cars and stuff go by on the outside. It's, it's really a nice, quiet environment. It's, it's really neat to see all the different things that are available. It costs a little more money, you know, up front, but there's so many things available, and, and the kids can see why we don't waste things. Yeah, and saving dollars down, down the road. Down the road, yeah, just saves immensely. Yeah. That's great. You've got uh, today eight or nine students that are working with you, and again, what a great experience yep. for the students. Yep, and again, those students come from not just, you know, the school that I teach at, but they also come from, you know, the surrounding areas. So what we try to do with those kids is give them a taste or a flavor of all the different types of um, trades that are here. They'll get to do the construction part with me. They'll also get to work with the, the electricians to pull wire and, and do some of those kind of things. They'll work with the plumbers for how they pull pipe, why they pull pipe, you know, what kind of pipe they use. When the, the HVAC guys come in, they'll actually be able to help them run the pipes and, and, and duct work for that kind of stuff. When the, the stone and block layers come, they'll actually get to help them you know, with some of the stone stuff. We went down to EBD and the company who provided the walls and the trusses and they actually allowed us to come into the plant and we helped build walls. And the kids got to go in and, and see what it was like. And several of them they offered jobs to if they want them. So, you know, it's a case where you, it's just, there's so many opportunities and so much there for the kids to, to see. It, it's not just a, a summer project. It's not just like going to work for a Habitat for Humanity kind of thing. It's, there's careers here. So it's really just a neat way for the kids to see all of the trades, not just the carpentry end of it. An overall experience in terms of the construction of a house. Yep, yep, exactly. There's just a lot of opportunity, a lot of great opportunities for the kids to, you know, see the work, do the work, and then 
continue that later on. And it's neat for Powerhouse to see this come along uh, through the process of building this, again, greenhouse and certainly energy efficient. And very, very fast going up. Megan, it's done. And it's beautiful. I can't wait to show you the final efforts to complete this home and walk you through it. We'll also catch up with the builder, Tim Ruth, and he'll give us the inside scoop on what it took to complete this home. The last time that we came to visit you, you were working on the roofing and the framing. Yeah. And you've come a long way since then. Indeed we have. And it's been a challenge at times with the weather. You would have something scheduled for the day and have to reschedule it because it rained or because it was too windy. But the students that work on the project, the first learning experience they have is what it's like to have a job. They have to be here at a certain time. They have to work when it's hot. They have to work when it's raining. They have to work when it's muddy. They will take this in the future and put this on their resume. Dalton, it's got to feel good for you to be involved in building a house. You're going to have to feel proud when this house is finished to, to drive by it and say that you had a hand in building this. Yeah, um, especially because it's going to be handicapped accessible. It's going to be zero clearance and uh, it's been a great experience for me. Trace and Emily, it's got to be fun to be working on this project as brother and sister. I, fun part of it? Yeah, I get to learn a lot from him and just better my work ethic here. It's pretty awesome having her here. You know, every once in a while we gotta yell at each other, you know, make sure everything's going okay. But what's what been the greatest part about this project for, for each one of you? Trace, how about yourself? What have you enjoyed the most? Everything. I mean, this is what I want to do on, you know, I got out of high school, so I enjoy everything about it. Emily? Um, probably just learning everything I can possible before I go out into the work industry. And having fun, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Now, you've shared with us a lot of these high-end features that you've implemented. What other key features have you done since we last spoke um, to get this house ready for the special needs residents who will be living here? Well, one of the things that we did, the laundry facility has two washers, two dryers. Some of the other features we did, the pantries that are right behind us have locks on the doors. You know, having additional storage space for the residents this house has smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors. The showers are all roll-in so that they can take a shower in their wheelchair. Of course, the handicap accessible toilets, even down to the doors. Trying to convince a company that's making a door that you need it for a handicap house, that it needs a handicap threshold, you shouldn't have to ask. They should assume. But uh, the door right over there, we sent back three times because we couldn't get the right threshold on it. The garage is heated so that they can get in the van on a cold day without going outside. You wonder why we build a home and put vinyl base in the house. Well, if we put wood base in, you hit it with a wheelchair and you scuff it all up, well then we have to replace it. With vinyl base, it's more apt to withstand the wheelchairs. The laundry room of this home is a eight inch poured concrete walls with a eight inch poured concrete cap and then a, a a wood, solid core wood door that swings in to the room. Now, the reason for that is if the house would collapse and the residents were in that room and it swung out, they could never get out. And there is no basement in this house. There is no basement. And in it's the Midwest, that's a grade. concern. Exactly. And when we build these houses, that is something we have to be concerned about is safety of the residents. You're providing a safe place for someone to live. You've thought about every single detail. If you had to pick a specific moment that means the most to you in this process, what is that? It'll be this afternoon. The most important moment of this project will be this afternoon when we hand the keys to him. Hills Bank provides each of the students that worked on the house a hammer that's engraved with the address and the date of the house and uh, tells them how important what they do for the community and for the residents is. And the, the students then start learning the importance of, of what they've done. Sometimes they don't identify that till the very end. Today, those students will meet the residents. That will be a life-changing experience for those kids. So Tim, share with us why you are so very passionate about this project. I have a huge passion about sharing my experience in life in the construction industry with young people because I was lucky and had somebody teach me. I also am the parent of a special needs adult. 
and knowing how difficult it is for them to find a safe and warm and beautiful place to live because so many other people don't think about them. Allowing a special needs adult a great place to live is a great thing. It's the greatest thing they've ever had. Now that says a lot. That says it all. Well, this project is so rewarding, I can tell. I mean, for you, for us, for the people who are gonna watch this show, are you ready for the next one? We are very ready. We announced the building of the next house on Wednesday of this week. The house will be built two lots to the west of here. It is a five bedroom, four bathroom. It's very attractive. We do give a lot of thought to the home fitting into the community that we need that. Well, I know this next one is very special for you. It is. Because your daughter will be living yes. there. Yes, we're gonna call it the palace because our daughter's nickname is the queen. Wow, this project is far reaching. I don't think anybody knows how important providing the American dream is to someone that probably never thought they'd happen. Owning a home. They might not own it, but they have the ownership. This has been such a rewarding project on our end too. I mean, we can't thank you enough for letting us we come can. along on your journey. We can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. We no, look forward to you. hearing about the new tenants, their experience. It's very heartwarming. It's a great opportunity and a great experience. Thanks for all you're doing and for letting us come along. Thank you for coming along. That's a wrap on this amazing student built home project, truly a powerhouse from the ground up. It was exciting to watch this project go from this to this. We learned about the efficiencies and benefits of radiant floor heating as we watched the installation process. And a cutting edge framing technique equipped this home for greater energy efficiency and a quiet living experience. The student builders did a great job and I'm sure they learned a lot along the way. School credit and hands-on experience, you can't beat that. Be sure to check out powerhousetv.com for additional information on this project as well as tips and strategies to make your house a powerhouse.